Hey everyone, uh, thank you for coming back to the Be Here Vibe. I hope uh, you're having a nice weekend. Um, my name is Bigia and I share uh, recipes and uh, things I do around the house. I'm trying to run a homestead in the middle of Los Angeles. Um, I know eventually we'll move into a bigger um, you know, place uh, with more um, outdoor space, but for now I am um, training, you know, so I turned my front yard into an edible garden. And uh, I like to pretty much do everything I want to eat. Um, I like to pretty much make everything. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this recipe is uh, sweet potato uh, buns. And I always um, bake with einkorn flour. Um, and this is from this book, actually. It's okay the other way around, but um, it says einkorn recipe for nature's original wheat. And it's from Carla Bartolucci, with two C's, Bartolucci, B-A-R-T-O-L-U-C-C-I. You should get this book. Uh, she has amazing recipes, especially to make bread and stuff like that. And so I just made that with the einkorn flour. I, um, and uh, I did a huge mistake. Um, in the wet ingredients, you will see, and it'll say stuff on the video. I just didn't want to, my heart was like, I can't just throw everything out and make a new video. So um, I kept going. And I put these sweet potatoes that were mashed at the end instead of with the wet ingredients before you put the flour. So please, please, please don't do like I did on the video. And uh, you'll see, you'll get it. I mean, I'm sure you're all bakers and... Uh, that was my mistake. So anyway, I hope you still enjoy the video. I like to still um, upload the videos even when I make mistakes because um, I think that people can um, stop making the mistake and also um, see that sometimes even if you made a mistake, it still works out at the end because uh, they still came out great. So um, I hope you enjoy and uh, let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Okay, let's get started. So for this recipe, you will need 500 grams of Orlin sweet potatoes. You can use any other sweet potatoes. Um, I like these um, because they're orange and they're very sweet. It, it allows me to put less sugar. You set the oven for 375. It's very simple. You don't have to do anything to the potato. Just clean it and put it in the oven. Then when it's uh, cooked, I want to say about 35, 40 minutes. You can check with a knife to make sure it's uh, cooked. It should uh, come off really easily, the skin. And you can discard the skin, put it in your compost bin, and then smash the sweet potatoes. pretty easy so far. I did not add any salt or anything to it. Then uh, we did our batch of sourdough levain the night before and um, it's nice and bubbly. We add 56 gram of unsalted uh, melted butter and cold off uh, obviously. And then um, normally you use whole milk, 60 grams. Um, because we are lactose intolerant, I am using rice milk. One large egg. Basically we're doing all our wet ingredients. Um, the levain is pretty wet as well. So it'll all mix really nicely together. And like I said earlier, I did make a mistake. So. Watch carefully so you don't uh, repeat my mistake. Now we add some uh, vinegar. I use um, vinegar, apple cider vinegar with the mother. And that'll just going to um, set off the sweetness a little bit. And then we mix it well. Always mix really well when you're mixing an egg to make sure it's really incorporated. And this is where you stop the video. Um, we add the sugar 
why I'm using coconut sugar. I try not to use any, uh, you know, white sugar. And that's where you stop. Uh, I put the flour and that was my big mistake. I was supposed to put the sweet potato first and this is what happens when you make a video and uh, your husband is asking you for things every five minutes. <laughs> so normal year we would be mixing the sweet potato and it would all mix really well because the sweet potato has a bigger water content. And then we would put the flour and the salt. So two teaspoons of salt. I use sea salt always. Any kind of sea salt will do. I don't use kosher salt and I don't use um, regular, you know, fine sea salt. You mix well with the spatula first because this would be hard to go in with your hands, obviously. You want to start gathering everything and um, and everything mixes together. And then I kind of use my uh, dough scraper also, you'll see. So I did not give up on this and I still am going to finish my recipe because I'm not going to waste all of this. It'll still work, it's just that the sweet potatoes won't be as incorporated as they could have been. So um, I put it at the end because that was my only option. <laughs> It was right in front of my face too and I completely uh, forgot about it. So here's my dough scraper a little bit and then I went in with my hands. Um, technically here you could uh, put it on your countertop. Um, but you know, I was like, okay, the bowl is working for me right now. I didn't feel like messing with my countertop. So you mix it really well um, and then you form the bowl. Now I'll remind you that this is einkorn flour and so it doesn't like to be kneaded uh, too much. So you just um, gather everything together and uh, cover it with a plastic wrap and let it rise. Now it's risen uh, after five hours depending on the temperature of your house. Uh, I put it on the countertop. Don't put too much flour like I did because basically when you're going to roll the little um, um, balls, the buns, you want it to kind of stick to the countertop. It'll make it easier for you to roll them. So here again, I just gather my bowl together and then we're going to cut it. So I use my uh, my baking, you know, uh, bread uh, cutter and I'm gonna make 16 pieces. So first in half, then in half, and then in four pieces in each. I try to be regular, but I suck at that. <laughs> As you can see here, they're all kind of the same and on the other side, they're gonna be a little smaller, which means I didn't cut my dough perfectly, but it's okay. There'll be small ones and bigger ones depending on uh, how hungry you are. And then we form little balls and um, we roll them like that. And then at the end, we kind of flatten it a little bit so they have this nice uh, shape. Then we're going to cover it and let it rest for about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes so that they rise again a little bit. Again, it depends on the temperature of your house. It's pretty cold here today, so it might take a little longer. After that, uh, preheat your oven 400 degrees and cook them for 40 minutes. Now, I did not butter my sheets and I should have. Um, they burnt a little bit in the bottom, but they're still very good. Yeah, so let cool. And then I love to um, store them in the freezer in a plastic bag. And then I just pull them out whenever we need them.